Hello everyone and welcome to game two in the series. Game one, an absolute nail biter. Um, something that you don't normally see. I take it back. Mirror matches can be very interesting and very down to the wire. And um, perhaps one of the best um, Zerg versus Zerg matches I've seen in some time. Now, um, Baboon Prime this time spawning as the pink Zerg on the right hand side of dual site. GSL dual site to be precise, swing spawning as the red zerg over here on the left side of dual site, and we'll see what's going to happen here on dual site. Dual site, a very interesting map. I've been told that a lot of zerg players are now finding a lot of different ways to play on dual site and to be able to execute and play very effectively, even though that third base is rather far away. And um, I guess the creep spread does bode well on this map as it gains a lot of information. You also, the two Zelnaga towers with Zerglings. Zerglings, the best resource per unit or uh, the best or lowest costing unit in the game, allowing themselves to sit at a Zelnaga tower and reveal a very large portion of the map to pretty much see if anything is coming through in the center. Now this is a true mirror match in every sense of the word right now as both players going into an extractor pool opening. Spawning pool slightly ahead for swing. Meanwhile, Baboon Prime opting to go for continued drone production. So Baboon Prime will have a slight drone advantage. Meanwhile, swing will have a slight, um, slight spawning pool advantage and we'll see who really comes out ahead. Now, both players did set up their extractors at about the same time, I thought. But Baboon is currently behind by about 12 harvesters or 12 resources. So one or three trips from the extractor short. We'll see if that's going to make a very large difference in terms of trying to get that all-important metabolic boost early on. Now you can see the overlords are starting to fly into position. A definite yin-yang mirror match so far as the spawning pools have been completed. Queen now being added by swing. Most likely Baboom will be doing the same thing as well. Except he's going for drones. So he's going for drones and not going for early zerglings. And he's going for that queen as well. So Baboom will definitely have an economic advantage early on. But will that translate into the victory? Or will those six early zerglings from swing be able to tip the scales? As you can now see Baboom catching sight of the four zerglings that are now making their way across the map. Metabolic boost on both sides still needs about 60 more seconds or so. So one more game minute. Both sides also uh, also establishing a low ground hatchery. So it looks as though this hatchery may suffer a little bit of damage as a uh, baboon now trying to make his way down with those zerglings. There is going to be four zerglings and a queen to try to fight this back here. Zergling is now trying to come in and oh, one Zergling may get taken down. No, down to one hit point. Natural regeneration for the win in this engagement as those th as those Zerglings are now being forced to back off. One Zergling was lost by Baboom. As you can now see a queen trying to get in position. The queen could perhaps easily take down this overlord and, and destroy it, but it looks like it is not going to do so as it wants to, I, pr I guess, return home and lay down a creep tumor first or perhaps spawn more larva. Not quite 100% sure as to what the strategy is as of yet. Meanwhile, Swing does have a slight larva advantage. Yes, he definitely has a slight larva advantage, a little bit more energy. As the players are coming in, no, there's actually a creep tumor down over here. So no um, no larva advantage at all as that one queen was able to fend off the attack. Harvester count is now even at 15 to 15, but nine zerglings versus 18. This is not good news at all as the queen is now going to make its way over. And oh, blocking the ramp, this queen going to get in a lot of damage onto those zerglings. Spine crawler now coming in as well. And those zerglings are on the run. This has to be very, very, you have to be very careful with this engagement, especially as the queens are adding a lot of DPS to this army and now swing being forced to pull back as Baboon able to now um, get off another spawn larva. It looks like that spine crawler will make its way down perhaps root itself right here to prevent any units from running by and now Zerglings are running around over here as well. The Zerglings are going to be able to come up that ramp in just a moment. Both sides do spot everything. Zerglings are now once again in full retreat. Both sides engaging and there is one spine crawler that is not being used as the queens are able to once again push this attack back. 
swing down over here does have another hatch or has two hatcheries but he only has two queens against the eventual four queens of baboon um he's gonna have four queens up and i really I'm, I'm really curious about this creep tumor spread not nearly as important in zerg versus zerg it is does act as an early warning system but it also gives movement speed bonus to your opponent zerg is now trying to attempt to run down over here it looks like it will get destroyed as the zerglings now desperately run away even further zerglings over here and over here continuing to just um, make their way out and it looks like there's gonna be four qu four queens to try to stop all of this damage coming in from swing harvester count 23 drones so somehow swing is ahead in terms of zerglings and drones which is a very very bad bad sign there queens are in position to try to fend this attack off and baboon looking i guess pretty comfortable right now even though he is currently behind on drones um currently now power droning up getting four more drones should be able to train up another three more from this hatchery as soon as it is ready this spine crawler not quite ready perhaps an evolution chamber should be added here to help this spine crawler get into a more formidable defensive position meanwhile nine drones by swing so a 30 drone to 26 drone advantage for workers as the queens of baboon just trying to fend off the attack from swing swing now once again in retreat 30 drones versus 32 drones there is only one hatchery at each location there are no macro hatches just quite yet as the zerlings now look to try to do a little bit of a push creep tumors are now down over here the queens may be able to try to do a little bit of a push here the zerlings able to run straight into the base and that is absolutely bad news as the drones are now going to be able to force the fight is the queen going to be able to get transfused no one queen does get taken down as all the zerlings and drones are now going to perhaps try to engage over here Zerg Zerglings are engaging, and now it looks like some of those Zerglings will get taken down. Um, Swing is pretty much stuck in a very, very difficult situation. He's not going to be able to retreat. He needs to try to trade his army, but his army is much smaller. But he has freed up some food for Mutilus. Mutilus now coming in, but boom, does not add tier 2. Now going into a Roach War, and does he have enough queens to fend off any serious Mutilus harassment? Zerglings is now going to try to run in. There are two Spine Crawlers and two queens as well. No, those units are desperately all going to run back as the queens are in position. Drones perhaps going to be able to mineral path their way through this through that army of Zerglings as the spine crawler getting in even more kills. And all those units are basically running back home once more. 43 drones now compared to 34. Uh, total food count 75 versus 50. But you can see by the sheer number of, of food available to swing that he definitely wants to train up eight mutilists or eight to nine mutilists once the economic or once that spire is completed we can see now zergling is still running around there is that roach warrant around the back zergling is now being forced to pull back once again uh, roaches are going to be able to finish off all of these zerglings very easily a very good concave and now those zerglings are trying to run away once more the roaches are not engaging that is a lot of roaches but those roaches going to be going up against mutilus and that is not a good battle Mutilus going to be able to destroy all of those roaches rather quickly. 36 drones versus 34 drones, but 8 more drones now coming underway from Swing. Spine crawlers are in position. It looks like another spine crawler will be built. The roaches are going to be able to arrive to the party only to see more mutilus in the skies and this is going to be bad news know that they know they they cannot run now going to go after those all important spine crawlers one spine crawler may get taken down the mutilus however having their way zergling is now trying to engage and baboon in, is in trouble he is training up two more queens one one spine crawler gets taken down another spine crawler gets taken down as the roach is now going after queens queens are getting destroyed as well and queens are very important to the macro as, as swing going to lose another queen as well zergling is now just really running in the main base and swing does not have any additional queen production now training up two more it looks like the worker kill count um total worker count 38 versus 36 and baboom says gg knowing that he cannot fight back the swarm of units and i would have loved to have seen him try you can see queens are being added uh how, what is the total uh total uh, queen count three queens if they had a decent amount of energy on them perhaps the transfusions would be enough but i don't see where those queens are there's one queen here 
um, two a queen here and here. And I guess if he had tried to hunt down some overlords and taking down some of that food supply, it may have made a difference. But there may have just been too many mutilists to really do anything about it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed this game here on Dual Sight. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.